Are you guys ready for a mega mystery box battle versus most of PFO? Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a big video with a $300 guaranteed value mystery box from Toy USA. Today is a very special one guys because we are battling two out of three of the other members of PFO. If you guys don't know what PFO is, it stands for Pop Force One and every single Thursday night either on my channel right here Slapshot Pops or Rock and Row Professor Josh or the Pop and Duo, we all get together on one of our channels and host a weekly Thursday night live stream. We do a little box battles. Sometimes we'll battle it out with sodas. We'll talk about the latest Funko news and all the happenings around the community. If you guys have not heard of Pop Force One, you are missing out on a great Thursday night live stream. So we are going to be live like normal tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern over on Professor Josh's channel. So make sure you guys come on over, check out, and then see what the fun is all about. So today we are going to be battling two out of the three other members. We're going to be battling Professor Josh, like I mentioned, and the pop and duo. Rock and Row could not afford this box, unfortunately, because he maxed out his credit cards for the month due to the massive amount of sodas that he purchased. So, unfortunately, Rock and Row will not be participating in today's battle. But I'm very excited for this mystery box because it is a $300 box from Toy USA, and the top hit is the glow in the dark. Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Star Wars Celebration 3000 piece pop that just for whatever reason continues to elude me. If you guys have been around the channel for a while, you've seen that we've done countless mystery boxes trying to pull this pop, so I am begging the Funko Pop gods to see finally if this thing is in here. And if it's not, I think I'm just going to have to break down and finally just purchase this pop outright because if you guys are Star Wars fans, then you know the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is approaching very quickly. So, enough dabbling. This is a $300 mystery box. There was a bunch of crazy cool hits, including the Obi-Wan. We also had the... Uh, the red and green metallic uh, combination Hulk, the compound Hulk. That unfortunately was pulled already by one of my good friends. I was very happy for him. There was also a bunch of great Freddies in this one. We had the KFC Freddy. Um, I see the Red Sun Superman Freddy. Um, there was the original Thing. There's a Bigfoot in here. I see the V for Vendetta Pop. Unfortunately, I don't know the full details of the mystery box because as soon as Toy USA sells out their mystery boxes, they delete their Instagram posts, which is a little shady, but unfortunately, that's just how they do it. I was able to snag a screenshot of the sold out picture right before they deleted it, so I do have a little bit of knowledge of this mystery box. So beware, guys, if you are buying from Toy USA, make sure you take a screenshot or take a picture of the details very quickly because they like to forget that they even dropped a mystery box. All right, so now we're gonna get into this thing. This is pretty big, so I'm guessing there is at least two or three pops inside of here. Now, this was a damaged run, so we can expect that some of the pops can be damaged. Unfortunately, it seems like Toy USA is only doing damaged mystery boxes because they need all of their mint condition pops for their outrageous whatnot auctions going on right now. So I don't expect any mint pops in here. However, I do hope the top hit is in relatively good condition. All right, so we do have a double boxed mystery box, which is always a great sign. We have some packing peanuts, which I absolutely despise, but that's okay. I do appreciate that they took the time to double box this, which could mean that there is something very good inside here or something very stuck. All right, let's see if I can get this out. Man, that is, that is definitely snug in there. Quite a few peanuts. Woo! Oh, yep, there it is. There's all the peanuts. All right, so that will be a, a big mess that future John will have to deal with. All right, let's get those off there. All right, so here's our box. Yes, like I thought, there's probably at least two... Maybe four, maybe even six pops if they're all crammed in here. All right, we got that bad boy opened. All right, and we got more packing peanuts. Can't say I'm surprised, but I do appreciate 
the effort to try to pack these pops as well as possible. Like I said, future John will deal with that mess. All right, so we have six pops from what it looks like, and we're just gonna start pulling them out. Let me see if I can feel for any hard stacks. Hmm. No hard stack, but I know Toy USA in the past has put some of their top hits in soft protectors or no protector at all. So Obi-Wan could be in this box, but I'm gonna pull out some of the non-protected pops first. We have, oh, this is a good one. This is the original Oodles, Spastic Plastic, Funko Shop exclusive. And he looks to be in pretty good condition. Look at that. We haven't seen him in a while. Mr. Oodles. Okay, pop number one. Not bad. All right, second pop. Also from, oh, no, wait, hang on. That one also had a protector in the middle. So I'm gonna pull this one out from the side and we have from the Kingdom of Hearts line, it looks like Halloween Donald, which was a 2017 New York Comic Con exclusive. And this is the fall convention sticker. You know, I have never seen this pop. That is pretty wild. Pretty cute, not bad. And uh, not seeing much damage. So, so far so good. All right, so I think, nope, we still have, oh, I guess, okay, all the pops are without a protector except for one, so I will save that one for the end. Next pop we have is the Emerald City Comic Con official con sticker, I like that, Mantena from the Masters of the Universe Retro Toys line. All right, so I appreciate the con sticker. That'll give us a few more dollars on that one. And next pop we have is also from the Masters of the Universe line. This is from the television line though. This is Evil Lynn. And we have pulled this pop before. All right, not bad. Once again, not too bad on the damage on her. And let's see, pop number five. This is the last pop before our big hit. We have, all right, from My Chemical Romance, we have Ger Gerard Way, and this one has the red tie. Not sure if the red tie makes it more valuable or less valuable. We'll find out at the end. But here we go. Let's pull our final pop, and hopefully... Hopefully we get to that $300 mark. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so in a soft protector, final pop should be from the picture of the glam shot that we don't have. But here we go. Final pop. It is, oh, Mumra from Thundercats. Okay, and this is a 2013 pop. Now, this guy, he does have a little damage. Not too bad. You know, and he's going on nine years old. So a little damage with a 2013 pop is definitely expected. Um, I have never pulled this pop before. We have never had this one in our possession. So I have no idea what the value is on him. But I'm going to check all the values for all these six pops. And we'll be right back. Okay, so we just checked the value for all six of our pops, but before we get to those values, I just want to give another plug for Pop Force One, guys. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, over on Professor Josh's channel, come out, have some fun, and we're going to actually be doing a special little giveaway for one lucky person in the chat. So we're going to be giving away a brand new Agatha Harkness Marvel Funko Soda. So all you guys have to do is be hanging out with us tonight and at some point randomly throughout the stream we will be giving this away. So hopefully one of you guys watching right now ends up winning this amazing brand new Marvel Funko Soda. Now to get into our values. Some of these pops surprised me and then some of them really surprised me. So first up we had Oodles which was the first surprise. I thought he was actually worth a little bit more. He's only coming in at $60. If my memory serves me correct, I think he was around 100 at one point, but he's only $60 now. Up next, we had Evil Lynn, and she is coming in at $23. Uh, the next one we had was another big surprise. I had no idea that Gerard Way right here from My Chemical Romance. He's coming in at $40. However, he is missing a Hot Topic sticker, so 
Um, you'd have to knock off a couple for that, but $40 if he was all mint and in good condition. And then the next pop we had was the con sticker Mantena. And Mantena is coming in at $40, which is crazy because the con sticker is $40, but the shared sticker is only $10. So it's just crazy that the little sticker is the difference of $30. The next one is the weirdest one. And this Donald right here, it, he actually has the shared sticker, which is coming in at $49, but PPG has the con sticker at $34. Typically, the con sticker is usually worth more than the shared sticker, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but I will go by PPG because that's what we trust, and uh, we're going to take the shared sticker price at $49. And then our last pop, which was our big hit of the box from 2013, another pop that seems to be a little undervalued in my opinion, is Mumra from the Thundercats. And he is coming in at $80, giving us a grand total of $292 on the day. So unfortunately, we did not meet our guaranteed value for this box. And then taking into account damage, I'd probably say we're at somewhere around $270, maybe $275. Um, but going by full PPG, if all these pops were in brand new or near mint condition, they would be at $292. So that's what we got for today's box. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how many more boxes we'll be doing from Toy USA in the future, just because there are a lot of other good companies and people out there doing mystery boxes that we do want to support. So anyway, this was fun, and I think this is going to conclude our epic saga for trying to pull Obi-Wan from a mystery box. I think it's time that I just bite the bullet and grab him for my collection. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you go check out the Poppin' Duo and Professor Josh's videos to see who came out on top and who won this three-way Pop Force One battle. We hope to see you guys tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. And as always, guys, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you guys tonight.